Roxy has been my patient for 10 years. So she's almost like my pet. I oh, know. These surgeries are not easy surgeries to do, but when you add darkness into the equation, unbelievable. In Atlanta, Arvid is paying a house call to check up on his longtime patient, Roxy, and her very worried owners, Allison and Clint. Well, hello, hello, hey. how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, man. Good to see, Good to see you. How's it? There she is. Look, right she's hiding. She's like, oh, no, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? 12-year-old <laughs> Roxy has been suffering with a mysterious illness that's left her weak and struggling to walk. We got Roxy when she was about six months old. We had been married about a year when we adopted her. And so she's our first child. It was like love at first sight for me. There was just something about her that I had to have her. And she's literally been the perfect dog for our family. She means the world to us. Over the last years or so she's really just started to get weaker started having a lot of shaky legs and just kind of started getting increasing lethargic she just kind of lay on the couch or on the floor and not do much Roxy used to love to go on walks she used to like to go to the dog park and play with other doggies but she just doesn't seem to have the strength to do any of that anymore she likes to sing for us, which we can still get her to sing. You wanna sing, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. See, that's the Roxy we gotta get back. After a long investigation, Arvid's just discovered the cause of Roxy's dramatic decline, a rare condition called hyperparathyroidism. That's usually caused by a tumor. Usually, you know, those are benign, okay? But that tumor is causing parathyroid hormone, excessive parathyroid hormone release in the body, which is telling the body it needs more calcium. So more calcium is being pulled from the bones when that happens over a period of time, or long enough, it can, it can cause problems. Weakness in the muscles, bone pain, kidney failure. To reverse the process, Roxy will need surgery to remove the overactive gland. We're glad to have a diagnosis, but scared, knowing that the end treatment is surgery and that we will have to put her under anesthesia. We're scared to death. I see the nerves. Yeah. I see the nerves. So you, do you expect to, Roxy will improve in her condition and be able to have quality of life? Yes. Yes. I will say, you know, with the surgery, we won't see change overnight, right. you know, because we've got to give the body a chance to adjust. But Roxy's always been a fighter, though. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's get her better. We're going to get her better. We're going to get her better. <laughs> Is that okay with you, Roxy? Where you? There she is. Roxy has been my patient for 10 years. That's a long time. So she's almost like my pet. They become like family. Yeah, we're gonna have an easy day today. Easy day today. And their owners, we all become like family. All Thank right. you. I'll be in touch with you real soon. Yep. So it's my duty to help Roxy feel much better and to um, get her on the road to recovery. I gotta do it. Hi. 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 We're here to check Roxy Richardson for surgery. I think we're all pretty nervous. Um, she's not a young doggy and we're a little scared to put her under anesthesia, but we know we don't really have much of a choice. Well, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Nervous. Okay. Here. Nervous. Okay. Understandable. Try to go get you some breakfast and some coffee and just relax and uh, 
I'm gonna take good care of her. Okay. All right. All right. So today is here, and we're here to take care of Roxy. I diagnosed her with hyperparathyroidism. We did the ultrasound, and the ultrasound showed that she has a growth in the right parathyroid gland. We're here to take it out. I love you, baby. Okay. And hopefully, a lot of those clinical symptoms that she was having starts to wane and she can at least regain some of that youth back. That's the point of doing this surgery. That's the goal. Let's go this way. You're okay. Come on, girl. Come on. 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 Here we go, girl. Go and take a nice deep sleep, and uh, we'll see you when you wake up. As surgery gets underway, outside a dramatic storm front is bearing down on Atlanta. It looks like it's nighttime and it's only yeah. like one. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Oh my gosh, that's bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. Dr. Edward, it's bad out there. Unbelievable. Right when we're about to start her surgery, the power goes out. You can't make this up. Uh, do we have a light? Like a. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Uh, right now, the power is still out and we are trying to get the power on so that I can get the surgery done. The generator okay. doesn't do the lights, huh? I'll hold my phone up. Thank goodness for lights on cell phones. You know, my staff, they jump right in with their cell phones and pitched in. Right now, the lights on those cell phones are not only saving this surgery, but potentially saving Roxy's life. So right now I'm looking for the nodule in the parathyroid gland that's causing the problem. These surgeries are not easy surgeries to do anyway, but when you add darkness into the equation, that makes it a hundred times more difficult. Uh, you want to be able to see. This is unreal. Kira, we're gonna have to and monitor her heart and everything. Yeah, I'm watching it right make, now. Yeah. Here. Make sure her heart rate's not dropping. As well as losing light, Arvid is operating without critical monitoring equipment. So everything is shutting down. The power's gone out. The monitor's gone out. I mean, I guess what I could do is just close her up and um, do it another day. But I've already come so far. So I'm trying to weather through this literal storm. And it's not just Arvid who's been left in the dark. Since the power cut off, Roxy's stressed owners have had no updates from the practice. I know Roxy's mom is on pins and needles. She's probably calling me a few bad words because by now she should have heard something from me and she hasn't. But I don't think I'm going to call her and tell her that, hey, I'm doing Roxy's surgery in the dark. I got the thyroid and the parathyroid gland out. So I'm done with that. Now it's time to close her up and wake her up. That's what we call improvisation. The power never came back on, but I was able to finish the surgery. Thank God for that. Now is just hoping that we get this calcium and everything under control so that Roxy can go into a full recovery. Come on, Roxy, let's go. Let's go. All right. Two hours later, the lights finally come back on. And enormously relieved Allison and Clint are back to pick up their girl. I feel relieved that we're going to get to see her. I'm glad that the surgery's over and it went well. 
feel exhausted from being stressed all day. It was an interesting day. Here we go. This way. This way. There we go. Come here. Yeah. You see what's going on? She knows where the door is. Everything was going smooth. Everything was going according to plan. Got Roxy on the table to do her surgery. The storm hit, the power went out. I saw on the Facebook page that the power was out. I was like, no. It was crazy. Um, but it all worked out. It all worked out and uh, I think she's ready to go. I surprised myself on this one. <laughs> like I say, we don't ever know what we can do until we're put in the midst of adversity and we're forced to overcome. And uh, I'm just hoping everything goes well from this point moving forward. All right, Roxy, you're on the road to recovery, sweetie. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go and subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to watch more great content. Or for new, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, all you have to do is sign up at bondipet.com and we'll send you a link. We can't wait to see you there.